Hello, folks. Welcome back to Jailbait and Tackle Outdoors. Uh, we're we're going to do another episode of Did You Know? Uh, we're going to, like I said previously, we're always going to mix it up. And um, what we did on a previous episode was talk about the world record black crappie. So now today we're going to talk about the world record white crappie. And uh, this, I like sharing this information because it kind of educates me to give me a better insight of, uh, you know, species you may want to fish and target in certain states. So uh, right now, we're going to talk about the uh, world record white crappie that was caught in Mississippi. White crappie, it was caught by a gentleman named Fred Bright, and uh, not frugal Fred like me, but Fred Bright, he's may, may be way brighter than me, but uh, it was caught at Enid Dam. I, I, I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that correctly. Correctly, It's E-N-I-D Dam. He, listen to this. This will blow your mind. He caught it July 31st, 1957. Five pounds, three ounces. So that gives you an idea, like uh, some of these records have held for many, many years. So it, uh, there's two ways you can look at it. The way I look at it, man, that's great. You know, guy was doing a good thing. Uh, population, you know, there wasn't probably as many people fishing the fisheries. That's one way you can look at it. Uh, you can look at it as... Um, Maybe the testing and criteria wasn't as good back then. I'm not just saying for this catch, so please, I'm not taking away from uh, Mr. Bright's catch. Uh, but oh yeah, by the way, it's yeah, it, it was July 31st, 1957. It weighed five pounds three ounces. I think I may have forgotten that, so I apologize. But uh, so there's but there's a common theme in some of these. Did you know? series of videos that I'm, I'm talking about a lot of these these cats these records have held for many many years so uh, you know it makes you wonder like is it contributed to pollution uh, overpopulation uh, improper land management you know like uh, too much fertilizer like we, we experience a lot of that here in Southwest Florida where you have a lot of um, runoff and then when you have discharges from like Lake Okeechobee and stuff like that. So I'm not discrediting this record. I just made me want to think about talking about a, a topic here because it's a recurring theme of a lot of these these awesome records are from the old days. So uh so what 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 say you and uh it's it's great to see um I'm trying to represent different states, different species. And uh, when I was researching for the black crappie, I, I found the world record for the white crappie. So I don't like, I'm not, I'm going to try not to do back to back type episodes. This hopefully will be the, you know, the last back to back episode. I'll try to mix it up with different species, different states. Obviously, these are two different states. I talked about the black crappie in Tennessee. Uh, the white crappie in Mississippi, uh, but anyway, I think it's really cool. It was like it's like you, you, you get to uh, there. There's so many ungivens in life, and when you can uh, get a world record at doing anything, I don't care if it's flipping pancakes or whatever it is, you, you know, you're doing something special. So, uh, congrats to you, Mr. Bright, Mr. Fred Bright. And uh, I, you know, I'm not sure if you're still on this planet or not, but, you know, uh, we here at Jelly and Tackle Outdoors support you. I know a lot of my friends on YouTube do support you and congratulate you for your effort for catching a world record fish. Uh, so anybody, uh, you know, stay tuned for more Did You Know episodes. There's going to be a lot of more uh, Did You Know episodes related to a lot of other uh, topics. You know, there's, it's not just going to be crappie, bass. We're going we're to mix it up a lot. We're just starting off with fishing. We're testing the waters. And we're going to share a lot of little different tidbits of trivia 
uh, mostly, you know, related to the outdoors. But anyway, peace out, folks. We're going to talk to you another time. And uh, as always, you know, make sure you know your legal limits when you're out there fishing on the water.